What's up everyone, my name is Chance with Real Sim Gear. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble your G1000 suite. Let's do it. Okay guys, all you're gonna need when you're setting this up is a number two screwdriver and everything else comes with the package. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna back off the screws on the back of the audio panel. And then we're gonna take this part off. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way. So I'm going to back this off about halfway on these side screws here. That way it'll be easier for me to install it onto the metal plate. Okay, I got the top two backed off halfway, now the bottom two. Okay, now that those are backed off, I'll take off these metal plates. Now that that part's done, I'm going to put the audio panel inside the metal plate, and then I'm gonna put the metal brackets back on. It doesn't matter how you put this in here, it's all the same. So now that I have the audio panel installed under the metal plate, I'm going to reinstall the metal brackets and screw it down. I have to loosen these side ones up a little bit more. Just make sure you don't screw these metal plates down too tight, otherwise you might start to see some lift out of the back plate for the audio panel. So the first thing I do after the audio panel is I'm gonna install the rubber feet on the metal plates in each of the four corners. All right, now I'll repeat the process on the other one. Okay, so now we're gonna install the PFD and the MFD onto their stands. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use the screws that came in the same package as the rubber feet as they're slightly longer to accommodate for the stand. So I'm just gonna install this right here and then I'm gonna flip it over. Then I'm gonna do the same to the MFD. Guys, it doesn't matter which one's your PFD or your MFD, they are both the exact same thing. Okay, and then I'll insert the audio panel right in between them and I'll line up the holes. And then we'll install the screws. Guys, make sure you're not going too tight on these screws right here or make sure you don't use any longer screws, especially if you're doing a DIY setup where you don't have our stands, then you could end up puncturing the bezel on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna use the slightly shorter screws for the four screw holes on the edges over here. Okay, once you have all the screws in, it's time to flip it over. Luckily, we already installed the rubber feet, so we are good to go. And look at that. All right, everyone, that is how you assemble the G1000 suite from Real Sim Gear. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your PC and get flying with X-Plane or Microsoft Flight Sim. If this video brought you any value, help us out and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be uploading a ton of new content about our gear and some awesome simulator flying tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Good day, see ya.